Raise your hand if you ever heard of Boracay. Boracay is an island in Philippines that is 8 kilometers long and 2 kilometers wide. 23 years ago in the bright blue ocean, I was preparing to snorkel. I just wanted to go in immediately, but of course, I couldn't. Everybody tightened their life vest, and finally it was time to go. One by one, we went into the deep turquoise water. Two lifeguards helped me to get in. I was so thrilled because it was my first time snorkeling the Pacific Ocean. I put my face slowly into the water and I saw beautiful fish and colorful coral reefs. But now, here comes the sad part. In 2018, Boracay closed. Let's backtrack a little. There was a surge in tourists in the last few years. According to the Telegraph, one million people visited the Philippines in the 1990s, and one third of those tourists went to Boracay. This statistic shows that a huge percentage of tourism was concentrated in Boracay. In 2012, there were lots of environmental problems, such as rubbish being left on the beach. The numbers show that the rubbish made by each person on Boracay was three times higher than the capital city of Manila. For this reason, the government decided to shut down the island for a year. They wanted to use that time to clean the island. The situation in Boracay is a paradox of tourism. Paradox is when two opposite things come together. So in the example of Boracay tourism, which is normally a good thing, actually had terrible effects on the Philippines' natural beauty. Tourism is generally a good thing, like more people can have jobs for many countries, but only if they can control it. If they can't, it will destroy that place by ruining the environment. Boracay reopened last year in December, but the Boracay Interagency Task says that there might be a limit of 6,405 people a day in order to prevent it from becoming polluted again. This limit was set because it's what experts think that the island can handle. Many people don't realize that some popular islands like Boracay and Mayabe are being closed due to environmental problems. Well, let's think of how those problems were caused. Some of the problems might have been caused by natural disasters but most of the problems were caused by us. Not many people realize that they can make a big problem by only putting one single piece of rubbish on the beach. But think about it. If everyone thinks like that, thousands of pieces of rubbish are going to end up on the beach. So let's all be careful and before you dispose of your trash, stop and think. Am I putting it in the right place? Maybe for you, it may be a place that you will only go and visit once, but for others, it might be their home. I really do recommend you going to Boracay, but I don't just recommend Boracay. I also recommend some other islands, maybe some in Japan or Bali. And when we visit those islands, let's prove that we're respectful global citizens. Thank you.